Welcome to Mystic Minds Stoic Souls in a world where intense emotions often leave us feeling trapped. There exists an ancient wisdom that offers liberation. Stoicism, a philosophy with deep roots, provides insights that can profoundly transform lives. This journey into the heart of Stoicism is an exploration of self-discovery and inner strength. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic luminary, taught that control lies within our minds, not in external circumstances. This realization empowers us, offering strength in a world where emotions can be overwhelming. But how do we anchor ourselves amidst life's tumultuous seas? Join us as we delve into seven invaluable Stoic lessons that empower you to master your emotions and navigate life's storms with unwavering resilience. Before we dive in, I encourage you to watch this video to the end for a special segment. If you haven't already, subscribe and turn on notifications to ensure you don't miss any future lessons. Let's embark on this transformative journey together. Lesson number one, embrace problems as opportunities. The first lesson in our exploration of Stoicism revolves around a radical shift in perspective, viewing problems not as mere obstacles but as valuable opportunities. This concept is deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy and offers a transformative approach to life's challenges. Stoicism, a philosophy founded in ancient Greece, teaches the importance of perception in our experience of life. It suggests that our reaction to events, rather than the events themselves, determines our happiness and peace of mind. This idea is crucial in understanding why problems should be seen as opportunities. Problems as catalysts for growth. Every problem, according to Stoicism, presents a chance for personal growth and development. When faced with a challenge, we are pushed out of our comfort zones. This discomfort is not something to shy away from. Instead, it's an opportunity to develop resilience, adaptability, and strength. For instance, facing a difficult work project can enhance our problem-solving skills and creativity. Reframing Obstacles Marcus Aurelius, a prominent Stoic philosopher, famously said, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This powerful statement encapsulates the essence of seeing problems as pathways rather than roadblocks. When a river meets a boulder, it doesn't stop. It finds a new path, sometimes creating beautiful landscapes in the process. Similarly, the challenges we face can lead to new paths and unexpected, positive outcomes. In everyday life, this lesson can be applied by consciously shifting our mindset when confronted with a problem. Instead of asking, why is this happening to me? We can ask, what can I learn from this? Or, how can this situation help me grow? This approach doesn't just apply to major life events. It's equally relevant to smaller, everyday frustrations. Long-term benefits. Over time, embracing problems as opportunities cultivates a more resilient and optimistic mindset. It leads to a life where challenges are met with curiosity and enthusiasm rather than fear and avoidance. This doesn't mean seeking out problems, but rather changing our reaction to them when they inevitably arise. In essence, the first lesson of Stoicism teaches us to embrace life's challenges as opportunities for growth. It encourages us to reframe our perspective on problems viewing them as catalysts for personal development and sources of strength. By adopting this mindset, we can navigate life's ups and downs with greater ease and turn potential setbacks into stepping stones for success. Lesson number two, the power of perspective. The second lesson in our journey through stoicism focuses on the immense influence of perspective in shaping our experiences and reactions. This lesson teaches us to evaluate the significance of our problems and stresses through a broader, more long-term lens. Understanding Perspective in Stoicism Stoicism places great emphasis on the idea that it's not the events themselves that disturb us, but our interpretation of these events. The power of perspective is about understanding this distinction and learning to view situations in a way that reduces unnecessary distress and promotes well-being. The Five-Year Rule a practical tool in applying this lesson is the five-year rule, which involves asking yourself, will this matter in five years? This question encourages us to project ourselves into the future and assess the current situation from that vantage point. 
It provides a way to gauge the true significance of our current worries and challenges. Minimizing short-term stress. Many of the issues that cause us stress in the short term often seem insignificant when viewed through the lens of time. A missed deadline, a disagreement with a friend, or a minor setback can feel overwhelming in the moment. However, when we consider whether these will impact our lives significantly in the long term, we often find that they lose their intensity. Focusing on what truly matters. By consistently applying the five-year rule, we learn to focus our energy and attention on things that truly matter, those that will have a lasting impact on our lives. This shift in perspective helps us prioritize our actions and responses, leading to more meaningful and fulfilling life choices. Developing emotional resilience. This approach also aids in developing emotional resilience. By not getting overly caught up in the minutiae of daily life, we can maintain a more balanced emotional state. It allows us to handle life's ups and downs with a greater sense of calm and composure. Practical application. In practice, this means taking a moment to pause and reflect when faced with a stressful situation. Instead of reacting impulsively, we consider the long-term importance of the issue at hand. This pause can significantly change our response, leading to more thoughtful and less reactive decisions. The power of perspective, as taught in Stoicism, is a valuable tool in managing stress and anxiety. It encourages us to look at our problems from a different angle, one that emphasizes long-term significance over short-term reactions. By doing so, we can lead more balanced, focused, and resilient lives, concentrating our efforts on what truly matters and letting go of trivial concerns. Lesson number three, understanding control. The third lesson in our exploration of Stoicism delves into the concept of control, specifically understanding what is within our power to change and what is not. This lesson is central to Stoic philosophy and is crucial for cultivating a sense of peace and effectiveness in our lives. The dichotomy of control. At the heart of this lesson is the Stoic principle known as the dichotomy of control, famously articulated by the Stoic philosopher Epictetus. He stated, some things are within our control and others not. This simple yet profound distinction is a cornerstone of Stoic thought. It teaches us to focus our energy and efforts on things we can influence and to develop an acceptance of things we cannot change. What we can control. Stoicism teaches that our own thoughts, perceptions, and actions are within our control. This includes our responses to situations, our attitudes, our values, and our decisions. For instance, we can control how we respond to criticism, whether we choose to react with anger or with a desire to understand and improve. What we cannot control. Conversely, many aspects of life are beyond our control, including the actions of others, external events, and certain outcomes. For example, we cannot control the weather, the stock market, or another person's thoughts or feelings. Trying to control these external factors often leads to frustration and disappointment. Practical application. Understanding and applying this principle involves a conscious effort to distinguish between what we can change and what we must accept. When faced with a situation, ask yourself, is this within my control? If it is, then you can take action to influence the outcome. If it's not, then the focus shifts to managing your reaction and adapting to the circumstances. By concentrating on areas where we have agency, we become more effective and proactive. Accepting what we cannot change helps in developing emotional resilience and peace of mind. It prevents us from wasting energy on futile concerns and enables us to use our resources wisely. Cultivating acceptance. Part of this lesson also involves cultivating acceptance and even tranquility in the face of uncontrollable circumstances. This doesn't mean passivity or resignation but rather an understanding that some aspects of life are simply part of the human experience. Understanding control as taught in Stoicism empowers us to live more effective and balanced lives. It encourages us to act where we can, accept what we cannot change, and develop the wisdom to know the difference. This lesson is not just a philosophical concept but a practical tool for everyday living, helping us to navigate life's challenges with a sense of clarity and calmness. Lesson number four, the importance of reflection. 
the fourth lesson in our Stoic journey emphasizes the critical role of reflection in our lives. This Stoic principle encourages thoughtful consideration before action, fostering deeper understanding and wiser decision-making. Reflection in Stoic Philosophy Stoicism, at its core, advocates for a life led by reason and virtue. Reflection is a process that allows us to pause, evaluate our thoughts and emotions, and respond to situations with wisdom rather than impulsivity. It is through reflection that we align our actions with our values and principles. The Role of Reflection in Decision-Making In our fast-paced, reactive world, the act of pausing to reflect can seem counterintuitive. However, Stoicism teaches us that this pause is essential. Reflection helps us to consider the consequences of our actions, understand the motivations behind our decisions, and respond in ways that are consistent with our deeper values. Practical Application The Pause Before Reaction The practice of reflection can be applied in everyday situations, especially when we are faced with challenging or emotionally charged circumstances. Instead of immediately reacting to a provocation or a stressful event, we can take a moment to step back, assess our feelings, and decide on the best course of action. This pause can prevent regrettable decisions and promote more thoughtful and effective responses. Developing self-awareness. Reflection also plays a crucial role in developing self-awareness. By regularly examining our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors, we gain insight into our patterns and tendencies. This self-knowledge is invaluable for personal growth and emotional maturity, enhancing empathy and understanding. Moreover, reflection allows us to consider other perspectives and cultivate empathy. When we reflect on our interactions with others, we can better understand their viewpoints and respond with compassion and understanding, leading to healthier and more constructive relationships. A tool for emotional regulation. Regular reflection also aids in emotional regulation. By acknowledging and examining our emotions, we can understand their origins and manage them more effectively. This process helps us maintain emotional balance and reduces the likelihood of being overwhelmed by our feelings. It encourages us to live more deliberately, aligning our actions with our values, enhancing our relationships, and contributing to our overall well being. By incorporating reflection into our daily routine, we can navigate life's complexities with greater wisdom and equanimity. Lesson number five, the Stoic Journal. The fifth lesson in our exploration of Stoicism highlights the practice of maintaining a Stoic journal. This practice is not just about recording daily events but involves a deeper process of self-examination, reflection, and personal growth. The Purpose of a Stoic Journal. In Stoicism, the act of journaling is a method of introspection. It serves as a tool for self-analysis and self-improvement. The Stoic journal is a private space where one can converse with oneself, dissecting thoughts, emotions, actions, and reactions. It's a medium for observing one's life from a distance and gaining clarity and insight. Journaling in the Footsteps of Marcus Aurelius One of the most famous Stoic journals is that of Marcus Aurelius, titled, Meditations. Originally, it was not intended for publication but was a personal diary where he reflected on his own behavior, thoughts, and the principles of Stoic philosophy. His writings reveal a man grappling with his responsibilities, emotions, and the challenges of life, constantly striving for self-improvement and virtue. How to Maintain a Stoic Journal A Stoic journal can be started by anyone, and there's no specific format to follow. It can be as simple as writing daily reflections or as structured as answering specific questions that prompt introspection. The key elements include 1. Daily reflections, writing about the day's events, how you responded to them, and what you learned from them. 2. Emotional analysis, examining your emotional responses and exploring their roots. 3. Philosophical musings, contemplating Stoic principles and how they apply to your life. 4. Personal growth, identifying areas for improvement and setting intentions to work on them. Benefits of a Stoic Journal 1. Self-awareness. Regular journaling leads to increased self-awareness. 1. It helps in recognizing patterns in thoughts and behaviors, strengths and weaknesses, and areas needing improvement. 
2. Emotional intelligence. Writing about emotions and reactions enhances emotional understanding and regulation. 3. Problem solving. Reflecting on challenges and responses can improve problem solving skills and decision making. 4. Stress relief. Journaling can be a therapeutic way to release and process emotions, reducing stress and anxiety. 5. Clarity and focus. It helps in gaining clarity about personal values, goals, and priorities. Practical tips for effective journaling. 1. Consistency. Try to write regularly, even if it's just a few lines each day. 2. Honesty. Be honest in your reflections. 2. The journal is a private space for your eyes only. 3. Reflection, not rumination. Focus on constructive reflection rather than dwelling on negative thoughts. 4. Use prompts. If you're unsure where to start, use prompts like, What did I do well today? Or, How could I have handled today's challenge better? It's a practical application of Stoic principles, offering a pathway to a more mindful, reflective, and balanced life. Through this practice, we can cultivate a deeper understanding of ourselves and navigate life with greater wisdom and equanimity. Lesson number six, practicing non-attachment. The sixth lesson in our stoic exploration focuses on the practice of non-attachment. This concept is integral to stoicism and involves cultivating a balanced emotional state by detaching from over-reliance on external circumstances or outcomes. Understanding non-attachment in stoicism. Non-attachment in Stoicism doesn't mean indifference or lack of engagement with the world. Instead, it's about not being overly tied to possessions, outcomes, or even our own rigid expectations. It's recognizing that while we can control our efforts, we cannot always control the results. This understanding helps in maintaining equanimity in the face of life's uncertainties. The Benefits of Non-Attachment Practicing non-attachment leads to a more peaceful and less reactive state of mind. It allows us to experience life more fully, without being swayed excessively by success or failure, pleasure or pain. This balanced approach reduces anxiety and stress, particularly about things outside our control. Applying non-attachment in daily life. 1. Accepting uncertainty. Embrace the fact that life is unpredictable. 1. Acknowledge that not everything will go as planned and that this is a natural part of the human experience. 2. Focusing on the process, not just the outcome. Invest in the process of doing things rather than fixating solely on the outcome. 2. Whether it's work, relationships, or personal goals, value the journey as much as the destination. 3. Mindful awareness. Practice mindfulness to stay present in the moment. 3. This helps in appreciating the here and now, rather than being caught up in worries about the future or regrets from the past. 4. Emotional regulation. Recognize and accept your emotions without letting them dominate your decisions. 4. Understand that feelings are transient and do not define you or your circumstances. 5. Letting go of control. Understand what is within your control and what is not. 5. Let go of the need to control every aspect of your life, which often leads to frustration and disappointment. Challenges in practicing non-attachment. Non-attachment can be challenging, especially in a society that often equates success with possessions or achievements. It requires consistent practice and mindfulness to shift away from these deeply ingrained notions. The role of reflection in non-attachment. Reflection is a key component in practicing non-attachment. Regularly examining our attachments and their impact on our well-being can provide valuable insights. It helps in understanding why we cling to certain things and how we can release this grip for greater peace of mind. Practicing non-attachment is a vital stoic lesson for leading a balanced and contented life. It's about finding freedom in accepting things as they come, without excessive reliance on external validation or specific outcomes. By cultivating non-attachment, we can navigate life's ups and downs with a sense of calm and resilience, focusing on what truly matters, our character, values, and growth. This practice is a fundamental aspect of Stoicism and plays a crucial role in enhancing our overall well-being and perspective on life. Thank you for joining us on this journey.
We hope this video has been enlightening and inspires you to continue your path of learning and self-discovery.